Today I want to draw a 10 cell value scale. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw a line that is parallel to the edge of the paper. And you'll notice that I'm using um, a special pencil. It's an, called an ebony pencil. You can get these at a lot of the different um, um, supply stores like uh, Michaels. And remember, if you go into Michaels, don't go in without a coupon because Michaels always has coupons um, online or in the paper um, and get you an ebony pencils. They, they really work well. Okay, what I want to do is I drew a line parallel. I'm going to mark over here four inches and make a mark. And I'm going to come over here and make a mark at four inches. Why do I make a mark on both sides? Because for this to be accurate and to be straight, I need to measure both sides. A lot of my students will say, well, Mr. M, I can just eye it up. I can do a good job, eyeing it up. And I tell them, you know, I've been doing this for like 30 years, and I don't think that um, I can eye it up and get this perfect. So you probably shouldn't be doing it. And then I, of course, I kid with them and say, I'm, I'm better than you, and I can't do it, so you shouldn't try to do it. Um, sometimes they laugh. Sometimes they just think I'm nutty. Okay, so what I did was I drew another, whoop. I got some music for you, sorry. Hit the keyboard. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure every inch on this side and make a mark. Now notice that I'm taking some time to draw straight lines and measure this out. And even if you're not doing this for an assignment, um, you know, there's some skill involved in measuring and drawing things out and I think it's important that you can measure. And I also think it's important that you could draw a straight line with a ruler. There are some people that can't. So this is kind of good practice in addition to doing the value scale. Okay, so you know I've measured every inch all the way down, both sides, and I'm just gonna draw my lines here. I'm just gonna mark these or line these up, there we go and draw a line. Again, I'm trying to be accurate because you want to build your skills as far as I'm just measuring and drawing straight lines. I mean, there are times when you need to draw a straight line and you need to be able to do it. And, um, you know, this all comes back to craftsmanship. How well is something crafted? How well did you make it? What you know, what amount of effort did you put in making it well? You know, and that's, it, that's really important. Um, I think a person should le learn like the basic skills and the craftsmanship first. And then, you know, when they have developed those skills, then move on to more, I don't know, art the way they want to make it, I guess. Okay, now if you wanted to erase these little pieces of line, you can do that to clean it up a little bit and make it craft a little bit more. So now what I have is I have um, 11 cells here, and um, I want to draw my values really dark in this one, and then I want to leave this one completely white. So what happens is that I have a different value in each cell, and I can see that it is a different value in each cell. If I have two cells that look too much the same, then, then it's not a value scale. There are two cells that are the same. It's not a scale. It doesn't go down from dark to light. So <clears throat> I want to make sure that when I'm doing this, that um, every cell looks different. And I also want to make sure that I can tell the difference between the edges of the cell. Okay? So... I might want to start down here at the bottom one. Now I said this first one is going to be white, so there's nothing in here. So I can start with this one right here. So I want to go pretty light. So I'm thinking very light pressure. Um, if you want to use like a blending stump or a tissue and blend some, you can do that. You know, you're welcome to do that if you think that will help you out. So I'm going to go really light on this here. Okay. This next one, I'm gonna put a little bit more pressure on and go a little bit darker. Now, I don't wanna go a lot darker, I wanna just go a little bit darker. I wanna be able to see the difference between these two cells 
but there shouldn't be a big difference. It should be a very small difference. And you may have to turn your paper and kind of do these edges to make it a little bit neater. If you get a little bit over the edge, you can take your eraser and kind of clean that up, okay? And if, if you get some lines in here and you want to blend it out with a tissue or a blending stump, you can do that. So you can see this looks slightly different than this one, and then this one here is white. So the next one, I want to go darker. Now, some people like to start with the light, the light uh, values here. Some people prefer to start with the darker values. You know, I kind of do both. I'll kind of do a few light ones and then I kind of do some dark ones. Um, but just remember, if, if you're gonna air, um, do it on the light side because you can always make them darker. You can always make these darker. But um, it's really hard when you got it too dark to make it lighter. I mean, you could try to take your eraser and go over it and that might work for you, um, but it's just a little bit harder than just making them darker. And again, I'm very, very light pressure, very light pressure here, but I wanna make that look different. Sometimes if you squint and look at these, and you, if you see a difference in the value, you're like, okay, that looks pretty good. I can see a difference, um, so we're probably pretty good. Okay, so this one I'm gonna go a little bit darker. Now, when I'm done with this, I'll get my eraser, try to clean up the edges, make it look a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner. You're bound to get some, um, you know, some chalk or some pencil lead on your hands and kind of get it smeared out on the edges. I, you know, that's okay and that's normal. So don't worry about that. I mean, I like to have good craftsmanship and keep it nice and neat and clean, but you know, sometimes you're just going to have some places where you get little smudges. That's perfectly fine. Don't worry about that. Okay. Now, that one here I think might be a little too dark. And if you look at, if I squint and I see these very gradual changes, I'm thinking, is this a little bit too dark? If it is, I can try to take an eraser and, and like, you know, erase some of it, it might work. And I might have to go back and redo it. But sometimes you get the eraser out and it doesn't work very well. And you just kind of have to try and see what happens. So I'm going to try this again and see if I want to get it darker, but I don't want it too dark. Again, you can always make them darker. It's harder to make them lighter. You can see with my eraser, I did pretty well, though. You just have to have the right touch on your pencil, the right amount of pressure. Notice that I'm keeping my pencil on its side. And if you'd like to do it that way and you think it works better for you, you know, try it and see what happens. Some of you may say, no, nah, that doesn't work for me. Okay, this is a little bit better. I got it kind of dark right here. I could probably erase that up a little bit and clean it up. Also, I can kind of clean up my edges here. Oops, I didn't do a very good job on that one. So I may have to go back and clean it up. Sometimes what you can do is you can lay a piece of paper on the edge here over what you don't want to erase. And then you can take your eraser and kind of erase like this. And it might clean it up for you. Okay, so you might try that, see if that works for you. If not, then, well, no, no harm in trying. So I might want to clean this up and I, I want to start on my next one here. Okay, so again, I, I want to squint, say, do I see a difference in each of these cells? And if I do, okay, I'm okay. Do I see a big difference in each of these cells? I don't see a big difference. This one might be a little, again, a little bit dark, but it might be fine. So I'm gonna leave it and go with the next one. When you get done with this, you should look closer to this one right here. You can see, if you squint, you should see, be able to see the difference between each of these. You can see I tried to use a little bit of my tissue in here and um, I don't think it worked very well because I got some really kind of some smudges in here. But this one needs a little bit more work. 
okay? And I can see that, but if I squint at it, look at it, I can see that I get the gradual, the value scale is very gradual. I can see that all of them look a little bit different. Um, maybe in here I could work a little bit more, maybe uh, make this one a hair darker, okay? And I can work on this a little bit more. And then I can go back, like I said, and I can try to clean this up with my eraser and hopefully I can clean it up and make it look good, okay? But your value scale should look something like that when you're done, okay? Most, most classes, when you go to college and you study art, you're gonna do a value scale of some sort like this. It's standard practice because it's important that you can get the right values when you need them. And to do that, uh, you need to be able to control your hands and your pressure and you need to be able to see the values, okay? Well, that's it for today's lesson. I will see you next time.